Aintree Grand Women's Summit and I am um, a mental health campaigner and writer and I have been invited along here to host a panel with some amazing sportswomen and businesswomen talking about the importance of mental health so it's kind of thrilling. It's amazing for me as someone who sort of five years ago I was very much in the closet about my mental illness. Um, that now we're at the situation whereby, you know, massive events, mental health is put at the sort of centre of it. So it's kind of, you know, thrilling. I think the temptation is that we look at amazing events like um, the Grand National and we look at the extraordinary sportsmen and women and we think they're sort of perfect and we try to live up to that image of perfection but actually they're human just like the rest of us and um, when our heroes admit that sometimes they have down days and tough times and they need help and support it makes it easier for us normal mortals to acknowledge it too. It gives us an opportunity to discuss topics in an open environment where people feel safe. And a lot of things with mental health, it's such a grey area and people suffer it in so many different ways. And obviously from a sporting arena, so many cases that you meet that are actually hidden in men and women. And I think today, with 49,000 people here, it gives us an opportunity to bring mental awareness to the forefront. I always think Aintree and racing events, we often see a lot of pictures of people having an amazing time and super strong and happy on the outside, but you know, we know the statistics, one in four people will experience mental illness this year. So um, it sort of cuts through and then, you know, talk about stuff that matters really. Mm -hmm.